Yeah, I grew up with Slash. We met in the fifth grade. One day I was at uh, the Kentucky Fried Chicken. I had a little motorbike with a lawnmower engine in it. He was walking by and he saw it. He was thinking of stealing it, actually. Uh, hi. <laughs> when Slash started playing around with a guitar when he was 15 years old in his mother's basement, Mark recognized that, that there's something here. And then documents every gig that they played, collected every ticket stub, every flyer, every piece of memorabilia you can imagine, and kept it in his basement for 30 years. And it really shows how gritty those early club dates are. Jason, my co-author, forget about the shows. He wasn't interested in the shows. He wanted to know why they chose this lifestyle. What drove them to live on the streets? To really understand. Just what, what, what goes on in their brains. Just to get good at playing guitar and playing more for a lot of people as opposed to just trying to make a lot of money. This was a story of kind of balls to the wall. I'm either gonna make it or I'm never, I'm not doing anything else. I don't think anybody who hasn't actually lived it really ever realizes to the full extent of what goes on. And they always wish they could have been a fly on the wall back then, and now I'm that fly on the wall. It's nice to sort of take a peek at it. Reckless Road is a visual chronology of the first 50 gigs Guns N' Roses played as a band. I mean, there's great, great stories in there. They went off to Seattle. Their car broke down. They had to leave their equipment, hitchhike. They ate onions on the road, 12 different rides until they finally got there. When they got back home, they had each other's backs because they went, they experienced some life together. So it's not as glamorous as one might imagine, I suppose, is what you make of it. You want to know the truth? Even if you're not a Guns N' Roses fan. I actually think it's it's geared towards diehard Guns N' Roses fan, but I think it appeals to a lot wider audience. It just gives them an insight to something they never imagined was possible. How they lived hand to mouth on the street, what motivated them, how they wrote songs together, how they were discovered. You watch them become the icons that they are today.